Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain assert dot assert equals in test ng. Let me answer. Assert equals is one of the assertions that is available in test ng. Apart from assert equals, we have different assertion types like assert true, assert uh, uh, false, okay, directly assert dot fail is there, okay, like that many type of assertions are there in test ng. But this question is specifically asking us to explain about one type of assertion in test ng that is assert equals. First of all, why do we use assertions? Why do we use the test ng assertions in our Selenium automation scripts? To verify the test, to check whether the test is passing or failing, we use this assertions okay now using this asset equals we can compare the expected value with the actual value for example you want to verify the title of the page okay what is expected title for example some expected title is there like your store title is there now what is actual title uh, whatever the selenium automation code you are writing for retrieving the title of the page that is the actual title now we are going to compare the your expected title with the Selenium retrieved actual title, if they both match, the test will pass. If they don't match, the test will fail. That's what is asset equals. Let me practically demonstrate that with an example. For that, I will uh, switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE where we have the sample Selenium automation code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser. Here we need to open the application URL. So I'll take this application that is a uh, internet hero application I'll take in this case. Internet Hero app. Okay. Let's see what is the title here. The internet is the title. Okay. So I'll take this URL. I'll take this URL and uh, paste it here. And uh, now I would like to retrieve the title. Uh, first, I will write the expected title. Expected title. What I am expecting. The page should contain the title as the internet. Okay. The internet should be the expected title. Now, what is actual title? To get the actual title, we have to write the Selenium automation tool to retrieve the actual title from this page. Okay, while the script is running. To get the title, driver dot get title is the command. Okay, this is one example, guys. Okay? I'm only explaining about title, but you can verify a lot of stuff using asset equals. So if you say get title, it will return you the title in the string format. String. This is actual title. Okay. This is actual title. Now you want to check whether whatever the title that is retrieved by Selenium is matching with expected title or not. Okay. If they are matching, the test should pass. Otherwise, the test should fail. Okay. Here, I'll convert this normal method into the test and test method. So public void, uh, some, I'll say verify title. Verify title test method. Okay. I'll just give some random name. And uh, I'll provide the annotation on the top of this at the rate test annotation. And hover the mouse on this at the rate test and import it from test and library. Done. Now I'll use assertions. Assert dot assert equals from test ng library. I have to take okay. Here there are several variations like you can compare Boolean values, you can compare byte values, you can compare character values, you can compare string values. Take one thing, no problem. And here instead of Boolean values, uh, just clear this stuff and hover the mouse and see first what is there. First one is, uh, you know, okay, so. Give double quotes here, give double quotes here, string, right? For now, just to see whether uh, what first one is actual, second one is expected. Actual is here. Copy this actual and paste it here. The second attribute value is expected. Give the expected title here, this case. Now, sorry, I did something. Expected title and paste it here. Okay, there is a problem. Okay, here it got pasted. That's a problem. Okay. Now it will be fine. So fine, no problem. Uh, now, if the actual uh, actual title is matching with expected title, then the test will pass. After that, I'll quit the browser, try what out of it, and see whether the test is passing or failing. Run the script using test ng, and see that if the script, if this particular verified title test method passes, that means this assertion has passed the test. Let's wait. You see, it has passed. The test got passed, guys. Okay. That means whatever that is expected happened. Okay. 
expected uh, actual title got matched with the expected for example if i am expecting some different title let's say here instead of this i am expecting the internet or the hero quo i'll say okay hero now whatever i'm expecting will be definitely different from the actual title and this will not match and the test assertion will fail the test okay this time the test will fail this time we are intentionally failing the test by expecting a wrong title okay actual title is uh, retrieved properly but we are expecting a wrong title to see whether that assertion is really failing the test or not that's the only reason we are doing that okay so you see browser has also not closed because there is an exception or failure here the reason behind that is uh, you see verified title test method uh, expected the heroku but found what the internet actual was internet but expectation was heroku because of that assertion got failed you can also see it here you see this particular test method got failed because of this assertion error it is expecting the heroku but on the internet so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session thank you bye bye